Hi, welcome to My English with Hira. Today, we will be learning household vocabulary or you can even call it household chores vocabulary. Folding the clothes. Making the bed. Doing the laundry. Drying the clothes. Doing the dishes. Taking out the trash. Cleaning the top. Sweeping the floor or mopping the floor. Preparing the meals. Dusting the walls. Brushing away the cobwebs. Ironing the clothes. Now let's look at some expressions related to obviously house that will help you speak English in an advanced way and will improve your vocabulary as well. So the first expression is spick and span. Spick and span is something really nice, really shining, bright, uh, as if it is really new. So even if something is not new and you clean it really well, thoroughly, it becomes spick and span, right? So I can say, she cleans the house so well that it looks spick and span. Next is neat and tidy. It is not very uncommon, but yes, it is a good way to enrich your vocabulary. So neat and tidy means clean and organized. So I always like to keep my house neat and tidy. Next is every nook and cranny. It can even be called every nook and corner. It simply means every corner of the house, even the slightest, even the sharpest corner is included. So I clean my house thoroughly and I don't leave any nook and corner. Or she cleans the house so well, so thoroughly that it looks clean from every nook and cranny. Next is brush away the cobwebs. So cobwebs is something that is a usual sight when the walls are not cleaned for like a week or so. So getting rid of those cobwebs made by the spiders is you use a dusting brush and you dust away, you brush away the cobwebs. Clean as a whistle is another way of saying very clean. So I like to keep my house clean as a whistle. Next is elbow grease. Elbow grease, I'm sure, is something new for you. Elbow grease means something that requires a lot of physical effort. So you can say that um, this stain is really hard to clean, but with some elbow grease, it will come off. Neat freak is somebody who doesn't like any untidiness or, you know, any dirt in the house. So you can say my mom is a neat freak. She likes the house neat and tidy all the time. Now, I'm also going to help you with one idiom that is related to the house only. Uh, though there are a lot of expressions, but today I'm going to be looking at just one. And it's my favorite and it is home is where the heart is. So home is not just a physical place, but it also means the people in the house are uh, loved by each other. I love my house because it is where my heart is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do hit the like button if you like this video. Do subscribe to my channel and please share it among your friends and people who like to learn English in an easy way. Please stick around for more videos and more content. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.